All right, so we were having this little discussion about the nodal points and the holes drilled for the nodal points or through the nodal points for the string and on Facebook. So I thought I would just uh, you know, do a little experiment on it and see what happens. So here we go. Here's where the string holes are, all right? I'm gonna lay my bar down on the string so that it will vibrate. I'm not gonna actually string it up. I'm just gonna lay it down there so it'll vibrate enough uh, for our demonstration. And then I'm gonna sprinkle chia seeds on it. Ooh, look at that, chia seeds. You know, the chia seeds are really good for you. All right, so sprinkle the chia seeds on it. Then I'm gonna tap the bar to, to make it vibrate. And the chia seeds, the vibration of the bar will cause the chia seeds to bounce around and off of the uh, off of the places where it's vibrating heavily and into the places that it's not vibrating at all, such as the nodal points. So you'll see that happen. So here we go. We got the got the vibrating bar. You can't hardly hear it, but see how the the chia seeds are dancing over to the nodal points, and we'll just keep that going until we get a nice thin little line. And that will identify where our nodal points are on this piece of aluminum, which is a Deegan Note C vibraphone bar. Eh, see them dance? They're dancing off. Look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we have our nice little cool line here. This is where our node points are. And now we're going to see how those node points line up with where J.C. Deegan and all the other manufacturers made their um, their holes. Here we go. So there they are. So there's the chia seeds lining up pretty good with the holes. Lining up pretty good with the holes on that side. Now let's try the other side. And this one is lining up pretty good with the holes. And this one, oh, look at that. So this is the side, the, the outside or the outside rails. Am I right? No. Yes, the outside rails where the holes are are uh, drilled diagonally over the actual node point. So the node point is actually perpendicular, like I thought it would be, perpendicular, but the uh, drilled holes are actually borrowing some space outside of it. So it's not perfect, but it's close to perfect. And that's to allow for the trapezoidal shape of the harp, which holds these bars. Otherwise, you'd, you'd have this major disaster trying to put bar mounts in spaces. The bars would have to be like this far apart. It would have to be a space to make a, 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 a place for it. So anyway, that's a pretty cool little demonstration. Just I'm sure everybody already knew this, but I think it's fun to put it out there.